All right guys, so today we're gonna watch something really nice and really cool. We're gonna see what we, what I eat in a day. Got the ingredients here over here, some uh, bread, asparagus, ham, some eggs, everything that we need, protein uh, to eat healthy, stay buffed, stay swole. Now I've got my grandma over here and Yolita helping us today. They're gonna say hi to you guys. Essa. Here we can see some asparagus, we got our veggies, our vegetables, our bread, our ham, some protein, three eggs of course in a day. Finish up the papaya. Latina. Papaya, what's up? All right, so I'm gonna get everything in the pan, we're gonna cook it and we're gonna eat it. But that's what I get today. This is around what? Uh, 600, 700 calories, something like that. I'm eating around 2,100 to just stay in shape. Cutting and, uh, well, it's a little bit of maintenance. No, I'm, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. I sometimes go overboard with the carbs, so I just <laughs> like to stay low on the low side to just compensate that uh, gluttony that I have inside of me. But this is really nice, so I'm just gonna get on with it because I'm hungry as hell. You gotta get it every year. And then, of course, we take care of the oils as well, of the fats, of the fat that we're eating. So we're cooking with uh, coconut oil or sometimes olive oil. Sometimes uh, people tell me that olive oil isn't that great, but I haven't found like, all right, yeah, I have found some studies that claim that olive oil isn't supposed to be heated at uh, high temperatures, but I still do it anyway. Yes, I'm not a nutritionist as you can tell, but anyways, buy some coconut, o coconut oil. <laughs> all right, boys, so I love chopping up the ham and also some veggies in there, and I just mix them up with my eggs. I've got them up scrambled in here. And then you just wait. There's a secret for cooking great eggs. I don't know it, someone may tell me. <laughs> but I, what, what I love is just uh, getting medium heat, dropping in there for like 30 seconds, and then after that, you uh, turn off the flame and then just leave them another 30 seconds. And you take them out while, just, while they're still a little runny, and that's what I love, just cooking them and then let him in sit and rest for a little bit on your whatever. Just let him rest a little bit. That'll get them to the point where they're like yellow and beautiful and tasty and not burnt. That's great. Look at that beauty. PB and J, of course, always hitting it. Some fruit. This might be a little bit more than 700 calories, but uh, who cares? Who cares, man? Let's taste it. Let's taste it. See what it looks like. All right, you guys, so it's um almost three, and now we're gonna get some food. We're gonna get our meal, our lunch, whatever you call it, guys. And this is gonna be the second part. Um, I often fast, and then this is the next thing I eat in the day. I fast up till 12, something like that, and then I get some food, and then Mio. some rice. ¿Qué es el chile relleno? What is the chile relleno? Es un chile relleno de atún, no puede ser de queso, en este, como en este caso. Nice. All right, here we have some of the raw ingredients. Well, this is not raw, but this is rice, Mexican rice. Bro, some tomatoes and carrots. And then we got some food over there, some meat, red meat. Yes, I know, kill me. I'm not vegan or plant-based. And then we got some uh, frijolitos. Frijolitos, yay! I'm missing veggies, veggies. We're gonna get some broccoli. Emma, what are you eating? What's that? Fish. Amazing, all right. So guys, here is the finished plate. Look at this beauty, broccoli, uh, or veggies. We got rice, Mexican rice, or carbs. And they got some meat, look at that beauty. Boom, protein. Well, it doesn't look that, that amazing on camera, but. And that's the second meal of the day, boys. And that is actually how, enjoy, bon appetit. All right guys, so we're here getting our boom, just in time. What is that beauty? It was prepared. Yes, I actually staged that, so don't be amazed. I'm getting my snack, my mid-afternoon snack, some grapes, and another yes, PB and J. This time of day, I get really, really hungry, so I'm just uh, trying to quench that thirst, that hunger, thinking about it. Today's one of those days where I don't, I don't feel like doing anything, you know? Well, I mean some things, but I'm tired and my body's sore and I don't know, I'm just getting by, but still it's a beautiful day to be alive. So I just like to remind myself about that and just knowing that I could die any second, any minute, struck by lightning or the sky falling on top of me or something happening. So that's what I want to remind myself. You know, you could die any moment. This might be your last breath. Enjoy it. Eat some grapes. 
Eat nature's candy. Lovely, right? But yeah. And I'm actually really excited, guys. I got accepted into William Esper Studio. That's an academy of acting in New York. This is so tasty. I'm just dropping a spoonful of sugar. Help the medicine go down. Spoon. Drop it. This is a Mexican style of eating PB and J. You know, just a spoonful of sugar. How's the medicine go down? <laughs> Hello, guys. All right, so it's almost seven, six fifty-one here in Mexico, and it's so this is how I prepare them. These are all natural ingredients. Well, it's it for this and this, but I try to get um, as natural as possibly human. Is that right? Sorry about my grammar. Whatever. I got this from Ross Edgley's book, The World's Fittest Book. He's got great recipes in there. You're gonna get some coconut milk, you're gonna get some eggs, you're gonna get one banana, you're gonna get some uh, baking powder, protein of your choice, that is optional of course, and some oats, natural oats. And you can prepare your own uh, pancakes. Let me show you how it goes and then, well, yeah. guys so that was really easy you just blend everything together and just throw in the power and well you get this amazing dough right here that you're gonna use for your pancakes the, the other secret that you need is you need to get your pants steaming hot all right first you let them boom get that warm and then just uh, get steaming hot and after that you lower the flame to like medium something like that I might be using way too much, but whatever. Uh, just put some oil in there. Get and there we go. That's little baby over there. Yes, I'm going to take care of you. All right, guys, two minutes now, each side. Do two minutes, flip, two minutes, done. All right, that's it. We're going to time it. We are 7-4. We'll drop in it. Uh, we'll flip in at 7.06. All right, let's get it on. This is the key, guys, all right? When you see the edges are done and bubbles are just bursting in the middle, you see that crust, that little crust that forms on the outside? That's when you can flip them. Oh, 100 pancakes are right here. 10 out of 10 rated pancakes here. And well guys, that's it. You can top them off woo, with whatever you want. Some uh, peanut butter. Ah, no, I thought it was gonna be way too much so I didn't put any more on, uh, on the pancakes. I was about to, I was about to though. I'm just getting a little bit of uh, honey on this, on these babies. And well, I'm gonna dig in. That's what I mm, more or less eat in a day. I don't always do the pancakes. I just do them like seven days a week, something like that. Not too much. I hope you enjoy, guys. I hope you have a great time. If you like this video, subscribe. I'm drooling over these pancakes, man. <laughs> have a great day.